Hey guys, this is Rani. Today I just discovered some cool new tricks with Canva uh, that I wanted to share with you. So this came basically after the question of Elizabeth, who was asking, is there any way to import um, vectorized files at all? Is there any way to manage vector, vector files at all with Canva? So I did a little bit of research and I, I thought, oh, uh, I remember when I use a uh, flat icon, I have different options when it comes to exporting my my logos, my my icons that I found on the on the website. So you can export them in PNG, SVG, EPS or PSD. So what I'm going to do with this uh, tutorial is to try to export the, the, um, the icons in all of these format and try to import that into Canva to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, and also by doing this, we will see what kind of features do we have available from these icons in these specific formats. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's use a simple, um, simple icon. It doesn't really matter which kind of icon we use at this point. So I'm going to use this trophy icon. And the first one, and I know this works for sure because I've been doing this for, for years now, uh, is the PNG format. So when you click on the PNG, so this is, guys, this is flaticon.com. For those of you who don't know uh, this website, I highly recommend it. It's very cool. You can find tons of icons. And yeah, I even created a course about it. So if you are interested in learning more about this platform, you can, you can check out the course. But this is not the point of this tutorial. I want to show you the different formats. So when you click, once you clicked on an icon that you, that you like, you can have different options for exports, right? The first one is PNG. So when you click here, you have these options. You can customize the color uh, from these predefined colors, or you can use the color wheel and just enter whatever Xcode you are, you fancy, right? So this is not uh, very complicated. And then once you have this, you can export that uh, icon in different uh, resolution. I always recommend using the, the highest resolution we click free download and then it's going to start downloading. So there it is, my lovely green trophy. So I will have to save that to my desktop. Okay, so that's the trophy and I will call it PNG so we can easily remember which formats these are. So I'm going to do the same exercise with this, the other formatting options. The next one is SVG, right? So let's try SVG format and see if I can so this, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm going to export this in purple for SVG. Download, free download. There it is. Trophy.svg, show in folder. There it is. So I'm going to cut that and copy it next to my PNG trophy here. Oh, sorry. Here, paste. Uh, yes, I want to replace. Okay, and I'm going to re rename it SVG. Okay, next format, what is it? Uh, this one right here, let me close this, EPS. So EPS is really like the Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator format. That's the typical vectorized uh, format. So let's see if this works because that was uh, Elizabeth's uh, or original question. So let's, let's choose red EPS and see what's coming. Okay, so I have this trophy.eps file generated by flat icon. Let me open this, uh, copy, and I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, so I renamed this one eps and back to flat icon. The next format is psd. psd is the specific Photoshop format. So let's see if um, maybe let's change the color of the icon. Well, actually, we can't. So if we export it for Photoshop format, it's going to be this color, and then you can, in Photoshop, uh, change the color. So here it is. And I cut and paste that here. Let me move my stuff here. And this is the trophy with the PSD format. And then let me check, let me make sure we didn't forget anything. So there's the base 64. To be very honest, I never use this format. I don't really know what it is, but I'm going to try. So 
Okay, so this is, it seems like it's some kind of um, HTML, so that's for embedding on website and stuff like that. Um, so there's actually no file to download, it's just a piece of code. So we, we are going to omit this one, this format for now. Uh, so let's see, so we have PNG, SVG, EPS and PSD format. So let's see what will be accepted by Canva in terms of format. Hey, do you want to learn how to use Canva like a pro? Well, I can certainly help you with that and teach you all of my secrets. I have put together a five hour master course about Canva that will take you from zero to Picasso in only one day. If you like that idea, make sure you click on the first link in the description below to get your discounted coupon. Okay, so let's see what works within Canva. So I'm going to try to import all of these formats one by one. First, the PNG, and this I know it's going to work. I'm just grabbing it, dropping it here. It uploads, no problem. Uh, and then let me show you. I can import in my design, can resize, of course. And that's pretty much everything I can do. I cannot change the color of this, for example. I cannot, uh, Canva doesn't allow me the color options and to change the color of this design. Let's try the second one. Second one is SVG. So here's my file. I'm gonna drop this into Canva and see what happens. We can see it's uploading my purple trophy right here. So I'm gonna try to insert that into my design reduce its size and what we can see and that's an amazing news guys is that you can now change the color this is amazing this is pretty cool i didn't know that i tried that this morning and i was like wow i need to uh, let my friends from the group know that this is an option so by because i used to download everything from flat icon in the png format but SVG is much cooler because you can change the colors. You can really, it will really save me a lot of time, uh, which I used to, you know, go back to flat icon and, and, and download the, uh, the icon in another colorway and then importing it back to Canva. But no, you, you, you don't have to do this. You can totally change, the, change its color directly into Canva, which is pretty cool in my opinion. What I do notice though, uh, if I use like brighter color, like this, like this yellow, is that it has some kind of outline. So be careful about this. If you don't want the outline, maybe you want to change the color directly into flat icon. All right, but it's pretty cool. So that's the SVG format. So now about the question of would Canva manage uh, vector files? <laughs> So let's try, let's try to import an EPS or PSD files. So EPS typically is the vectorized file. Uh, let's try to bring this into Canva and see what happens. There, I got an upload error. So we could not upload some of your files because they are not in the format that Canva understands. So please choose only JPEG, PNGs or SVG files. So basically this answers our question that Canva doesn't manage, doesn't deal with um, vectorized files, right? Okay, I got it. So let's try the last one, the PSD file, the Photoshop file and see if this works, but I have a feeling it won't. No, it doesn't. So really guys, what Canva manages, what Canva accepts and understands as types of files is JPEG, PNG and SVG. So also the second big news from this tutorial is that if you import an SVG file directly from flat icon, you can change the color of this icon later in Canva, which is pretty cool. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, uh, let me know in the comment, show some love, like tell us what is your experience with importing different kinds of format with Canva. Maybe you can tag a friend or share this video. Uh, so that more people are aware of our group. I'm trying to grow the group this year. Uh, I have a 20,000 people objective for the end of 2019. So if you want to help, uh, be my guest and, and share the love about this group. Tell people it's awesome and you like the tutorials and uh, let's grow it together. All right, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was useful and I will see you in the next video.